What's up you guys, it's Steve here, and President Joe Biden said that he's gonna be reviving talks on stimulus. They're gonna be getting this done by Memorial Day, Build Back Better, gas stimulus checks, legislation, executive orders, all this is gonna be taking place. But can he get those two moderate Democrats on board, Kirsten Cinema and Joe Manchin, to pass through more stimulus? This is your stimulus check update, stimulus package update, and breaking news update. And take a look at some of these headlines coming out, you guys. Kirsten Cinema says that she will be the same person if Build Back Better talks are revived, which we're hearing they are coming back. And I just let you know this morning that we heard from Senator Joe Manchin, who after he got that CPI data saying that inflation is at 8.5% year over year for the month of March, that he's not so sure about passing more stimulus, thinking we need to hit the brakes, and telling the Biden administration and the Federal Reserve they dropped the ball on addressing the inflation issues. So we will see, but we're hearing President Biden has got to do something as, take a look at this, you guys, Biden's approval rating falls to a new low amid economic pessimism, inflation woes, and CNBC survey finds according to their data. And you might be wondering, well, just how bad is his approval rating? Well, so bad that not even birds approve of President Joe Biden as birds poop on Biden as he claims the U.S. is in the dumps because of Putin. So uh, let me know your thoughts, you guys. I'm going to be sharing with you the actual video footage of the president getting pooped on by a bird while he's letting us know this. Take a look, you guys. Biden wants to let people buy blended gasoline to lower prices. However, there's just one problem with that. And the problem is we're hearing that this blended gasoline is not that environmentally friendly. Uh, this is actually a concern, they're saying. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think this is a good solution? That the prices of gas is too high, we'll do this to get it down, lower that overall cost, and just do it temporarily? Or do you think, no, we should not be hurting the environment uh, to do this to bring down the prices? Let me know your thoughts, you guys, but I'm gonna give you the details. As we're hearing, stimulus talks are coming to the forefront. There are four gas stimulus checks that are currently on the table, and you can see gas is amongst one of the highest concerns right now. Uh, as the president has stated, they're willing to do a mixture, a blend, of less environmentally friendly gas at this time. So uh, I'm gonna get you caught up on the details of what's unfolding right now, let you see the video footage and dive right in, get you caught up on the latest. But before we do, if you could do me a quick favor, just takes a second, if you appreciate the updates, don't forget to smash on the like button, just takes a second, helps me out a ton, thank you so much. Also leave your comments, share this out if you think it's gonna help out other people. If this is your first time here and you'd like to stay up to date, totally free, why not? Come join the Ram Fam, I'll keep you up to speed on everything going going on. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and if you got any specific questions for me, hop onto Instagram, shoot me a DM at steveram3. That is the best way to get a hold of me by far. And consider joining the second channel, Steve Ram Finance, to learn about growing wealth and personal finance. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and dive right in and get you caught up on the latest on Revive Talks for Stimulus, but also opposition from some moderate Democrats and what birds think about President Joe Biden. All right, you guys, so first up, let's take a look at this footage of a bird pooping on the president while he's talking about the state of the economy. Then we're gonna be discussing these gas issues that we're experiencing. And then lastly, uh, let's discuss what's happening with Build Back Better, Revive Talks, Kirsten Cinema, and Joe Manchin. Let's start off with this video footage. That's not hyperbole. It's about being made in America. A lot of that has to do with this industry. I just had a chance to see uh, the work you do here and turn more than 40 million bushels of local corn into 130 million gallons of ethanol a year. And that's not hyperbole. It's about being made in America. A lot of that has, has to do with this industry. I just had a chance to see uh, the work you do here and turn more than 40 million bushels of local corn into 130 million gallons of ethanol a year. Well, there you have it, you guys, a bird pooping on the president. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But I have heard that a bird pooping on you is good luck, right? At least makes you feel better about the situation. <laughs> I actually looked it up too, and it says that if a bird poops on you or anything that you own, it's said to be good luck. This is a Russian superstition, and uh, there's a lot going on with Russia right now. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. All right, guys, so let's talk about these gas issues. As we have heard that Congress is suggesting uh, that we get rid of the federal gas tax, have a gas tax holiday. Now, also, we've heard members of Congress say that's not going to be good enough. That's not going to ensure that the American people are going to be feeling the benefits of that, that gas companies, they might not lower the prices uh, even if we get rid of that tax. They're saying you might want to just give out gas stimulus checks. That might be the easiest thing. And in my last video I shared with you, I covered 
nine different states that are sending out gas stimulus checks, some as high as $2,000 per individual. These just coming out in the past couple days. So that's on a state level. But now on a federal level, we're hearing that the president, he's trying to get creative with some ways to help things out. And take a look at this, you guys. Link in the description below this coming out yesterday. Biden wants to let people buy blended gasoline to lower prices. There's just one problem. And the article says it's one of the main drivers of the U.S. inflation reaching a 40-year high and among the factors most likely to hurt Democrats' electoral chances in the November midterm elections. It's high gasoline prices, and President Joe Biden is starting to get creative in trying to lower them. Now, jumping down, it says ethanol blended fuel is slightly more affordable, and Biden hopes that the plan will bring prices down significantly at the pump doing this new blend. But the president will likely encounter resistance as ethanol fuel has for years drawn an ire of environmental and energy groups to point that the Environmental Protection Agency had banned it and banned sales during the summer of 2011. So what are ethanol gas blends? Well, the type of fuel that Biden is targeting is known as E15 gasoline, a petroleum fuel combined with about 15% ethanol blend. Ethanol is made from the fermentation of starchy plants, usually corn. And we're hearing that this is not necessarily gonna be the best for the environment, but this is one of the things they're doing in an effort to try to get those prices down. As we're hearing, they're likely not gonna be coming down anytime soon. And we're hearing that not just gas prices, Food prices are gonna be hit by this as well, and we've got 40-year high inflation on top of all of this at the same time. Now, with that being said, what do you think we should do? Should we, as a result of these high prices, pass more stimulus packages, more provisions, more checks to try to help out people at this time to get through these high prices? Or are you thinking, no, we shouldn't do that because if we do that, we're gonna cause these high prices and inflation to get even worse. And it's gonna just be spiraling out of control. Which strategy do you think is better? What do you think would be best? Well, what we're hearing right now is the Biden administration, Democrats in Congress, and especially progressives, they are pushing to get more stimulus provisions out, send out direct payments and assistance to help out people at this time. And progressives are saying, if we can't do it through legislation, that's fine. President Joe Biden step up and do some executive orders, executive actions, send out checks, send out stimulus, cancel debt, do all these things and get it done to help out people at this time. And we're hearing they wanna do this right away. They're saying they wanna get Build Back Better done before Memorial Day, but, we're seeing articles coming out like this. Kirsten Cinema says that she will be the same person if the Build Back Better talks are revived. Now, link in the description below, this article says that Kirsten Cinema vowed Tuesday, yesterday, to conduct herself in the same manner as she did during the Build Back Better negotiations of 2021, should Democrats try to revive the centerpiece of President Joe Biden's legislative agenda. What I can't tell you is if negotiations will start again or what they'll look like, Kirsten Sinema said. But what I can promise you is that I'll be the same person in negotiations if they start again that I was in negotiations last year. Sinema told the business group that she remains opposed to raising taxes on corporations. You all know, the entire country knows that I'm opposed to raising the corporate minimum tax rate. She also reiterated her opposition against any tax policy that would put a break on any type of economic growth or forestall business and personal growth for America's industries. So you guys, we have Kirsten Cinema in opposition. We heard from Joe Manchin yesterday as well. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think that President Joe Biden and Democrats are gonna be able to pull this off and send out more stimulus provisions with this resistance from moderate Democrats? Do you think they will persuade them and get them on board and get something done before midterm elections? Do you think the president is gonna send out executive orders and executive actions? We're hearing that pressure is ramping up from progressives to do so. Or do you think that nothing is going to happen and there is going to be likely a red wave coming in the midterm elections as Republicans will likely take over the House and the Senate? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, you guys. But that is the latest updates on what's happening right now in Congress with stimulus. And as more information rolls out, I will be sure to keep you up to date here on the channel. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget to take a quick second to smash on that like button. I appreciate it. It helps out the channel a ton. Thank you so much. Also, leave your comments. Share this out. If this is your first time here and you like to stay up to date, totally free. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. I'll keep you up to speed on everything going on. If you got any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3 and consider joining my second channel, Steve Ram Finance, to learn about growing wealth and personal finance. 
But with that being said, you guys, thank you so much for joining me once again, and I hope that you and the family have a blessed evening. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.